Right now we're standing in front of Zone 5. We're standing in front of Pedro Sweet Sativa and they are approaching about 8 to 9 feet tall and these will be harvested at the later end of October. It is a sativa dominant strain so it grows like a sativa, has the effects like a sativa and its terpene profile is more along the citrusy fruitful side. So this year on 27 acres we're, we're growing uh, just under 19,000 plants and that is comprised of seven strains. So this year we started harvesting October 2nd, a small lot of green kush, which was more of an experimental uh, strain that we're growing this year. Um, but that's going to be something uh, special going to the market. And this year uh, we're harvesting using uh, more machinery. So with uh, combined with more machinery and larger totes that we're harvesting into, uh, we're har it's a more of a commercial scale process that we're doing. So we harvest the tops of the plants first, and then we come back anywhere from 10 to 12 days later and harvest the bottoms. So in Southern Ontario, we had a very early frost. In fact, two frosts this year, September 18th and 19th, I believe it was. So we had two nights of frost here, which is unusual compared to last year where we had frost October 15th. So when that happens, what you're going to see is that the bud production is going to slow greatly. So that is going to um, have an effect um, on the overall outcome of the plants. But um, uh, the majority of our field took it very, very well. 